So, today I'm going to talk to you about this website, Axplaining. It's simple, it teaches you everything, or at least the most basic things about hacking. Uh, when you talk about being hacked, you just say, oh, my account was hacked, or I was robbed, or something like that. But you don't really understand how you were hacked, and that also happens to me. So this website, uh, recommended in Reddit, uh, explain you the basic things to know about hacking. For example, and I'm going to show you now, SQL injection. What happens when you suffer from this? Um, so this is the vulnerable application, is application log. What happens when you interact with the vulnerable application? So I'm going to try to log in user at email.com um, user. I can't even write the name. Okay, user at email.com password login. So the password didn't work. This is what's happening at the application that's infected with SQL injection. So I tried to use, you know, password and this, maybe it's, that's my password. Eh, no, didn't happen. So this is happening in the application. You can actually see this. So you don't know what happens. So I'm trying to you get to close mess something up. Enter the password, okay. Password with the comma. Oh, interesting. Ah. Okay. So what happens now? Okay. Password. Okay, so this web page is clearly defective. But what what do they do with it? It's just shut to on the third part. Okay, let me check another thing. Um, click checking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a method of tricking website users into performing an unintended action by fooling them into clicking on something they did not intend. Whoa, pop-ups. Imagine you are the author of the leading kitten video. Okay. Pretty good targets. Yeah. Basically, they put a frame on top of the video, so when you're trying to click the video, uh, you're not clicking the video, you're clicking to get in the website they put on top of your video. Uh, so, it happens very commonly in some popular websites. Um, with uh, unknown origins. Session fixation. Oh.
So basically, some websites to share content, they share the content with some of your session with it. So another person without um, an user account can access that um, your account uh, and see the content. Yet some hackers might use those links to access your account. Nice. And if you sign up, you have access to other types of hacking. Uh, so you can know how to protect yourself or your family. And please do not use this as an inspiration for hacking. Uh, it's not good when you are an innocent people and you are a victim of this. So cross-site scripting, the last one, I promise, just to show you. How good this is to upgrade oh, it, it's nice. Attention hackers, okay. Comments are read, converted into HTML. Yep. Uh, if they use these things, they can add a script and things just pop up. It was used some years ago to hack Amazon to put cookies. Uh, so whenever you visited a website, uh, the website planted cookies on you. It's a similar process. Yeah, in this case, it might um, steal uh, your accounts or credit cards or something like that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll put the link down below. It's pretty informative. I do not know most of these things. Uh, I wish I could explain you better. But anyway, um, try it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.